Hey guys, John here back with you for part two of Engines Explained. We're going to go ahead and take an in-depth look at our engine cylinder, piston, valves, and the parts and pieces that really make the power on the engine. So for starters, there's a few pieces missing. We'll talk about that. So normally we have a valve cover that covers all this up. So normally that says like homing or continental on the top of it. And you can't actually see any of these pieces. So taking that valve cover off, you then would find a rod that connects through here and you'd find little rocker arms that go on top back and forth like that on either side. And those rocker arms, the purpose of those is to push down on these valves. And you can see we have pretty sturdy springs on those valves. It's your intake and exhaust valve. And when those valves get pushed down, they open to allow air to flow through these ports, through either the intake going into the cylinder through the intake pipe, or coming out of the exhaust and flowing out overboard, all of your spent gases, your burnt up uh, fuel air charge. The other little nub here, that's where our oil would flow. So we obviously want to oil up our valve springs and rocker arms and things. So as oil gets squirted on that, from uh, the oil system inside the engine. It's going to drip down. Normally this is mounted on its side. And so oil would pool in the bottom here and then flow via this little pipe back down to your oil sump that would be located down below the engine cylinders in the very bottom of the crankcase. Up on the top here we would normally have our spark plug and there's always two plugs so we have one there and we would have the other on the other side there. So one top and bottom, as you normally see on your engine. You have this flange plate here, and all of those screws would mount this jug, this cylinder, to the engine crankcase. On the bottom there, you can see they have this round sleeve there that would actually fit into the crankcase to make a nice tight seal. And there's a little bit of leftover silicone sealant here that would normally seal it all together to keep the oil from leaking out. There's really no pressure here against the crankcase. All the pressure is contained inside the engine cylinder between the piston and the top here where our valves are. We can actually look inside there and see the top of the valve. And we can see the top of our intake valve there. And rotate this cylinder over on its side. We have all these fins. And the purpose of all those fins, you can see the cylinder itself is really not that big. All those fins are just there to disperse heat and allow air to flow around the cylinder and cool it down since the cylinder produces a ton of heat, since that's where all your combustion is happening, plus the friction of having this piston ride up and down inside the cylinder. So normally that rides up and down and then you have a connecting rod that would come through here. You have a wrist pin that goes through there, connects your connecting rod, your connecting rod comes out, and it would connect to your crankshaft and spin around as the crankshaft turns. The connecting rod forces the piston up and down and the power generated by combustion pushes the piston down on the power stroke, continuing the whole cycle, spinning your crankshaft and spinning your propeller. If we pull this piston out, we can take a look at it. And believe it or not, that's a fairly normal looking piston in any aircraft engine. They all pretty much look like this. Lots of carbon buildup and just lots of wear and tear on them. But that's a pretty normal looking one. Of course, we're missing our uh, rings here, and the purpose of the rings is to seal in combustion. Obviously, this is a fairly loose fit to have such extreme pressure with uh, the pressure of combustion. So we have rings that form a nice tight seal that keep our oil from sloshing up past the rings and getting into our combustion chamber, and also rings for compression to uh, keep the uh, pressure on the right side of the piston and pushing the piston down rather than the pressure escaping past. You can see though, it is a loose fit, so we do have some of that combustion escape past the piston, down through here into the crankcase, and that is called blow-by. And that blow-by is what gives you all that uh, crankcase pressure and all the uh, flow through the breather tube overboard. So that's what kind of pumps uh, some moisture into your crankcase and that moisture flows out through the breather tube. That's what you have to worry about on those real cold days you're flying, that you don't have excess moisture from the combustion process going through your crankcase, going through your breather tube and freezing it up and then building a pressure inside the crankcase. So obviously that's the only way for the pressure from combustion to get out of the crankcase. If we look up inside the cylinder, we can see we have the cylinder wall nice and shiny smooth. It's so obviously it has a piston rubbing up and down against it thousands of times a minute. And if we look at the top there, we can see our two valves and the two holes where our spark plugs would go. So right up there. 
Now, based just on the color of those valves, which one do you think is the exhaust and which one do you think is the intake? Leave your answer in the comments below. So guys, that's pretty much it for our engine cylinder and piston. Hopefully that helps you get a better understanding of what it is you're looking at when you're looking under the cowling of your airplane and helps you visualize how the engine actually works. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. We'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out our online course on flyatmikealpha.com. And as always, if you can't fly every day, then flyatmikealpha.com. We'll see you all next time.